All right, man. Welcome to Day Partner Show with Eddie and Company, presented by High Noon. Nice shirt, Dave. Yeah, I got the Noon shirt on. I got to try kiwi and guava. New flavors. Haven't tried either of them. I've heard a lot of hype back and forth. I actually went to dinner with High Noon like last night, the High Noon people, and they were raving about kiwi. I think they're going to bring them to our... Um, I'm in New Orleans and we're doing our live show at Walk-Ons later. I think they're going to bring them so I can try them. Passion Fruit won, but it sounds like they may have some competitors. Did they say where, like, when it's going to be out to the full public or is it out now? Did you, did you I think get it's that? out now. I think it's oh, out no. now. It's in, like, the pool packs, I think. Okay. This is going to be good. What happens if I lean back? Am I too far away here if I lean back? No, I think you're good. Gonna, I maybe get scoliosis here. All right, go ahead. Um, all, right, all right, so get your high noon. Uh, real vodka, real juice for real fans just like us. Head over to your local liquor store today and go grab some High Noon. New flavors, guava, kiwi, or get the classics. You guys know the drill by now. Drink High Noon. Um, all right, I know. A lot going on in New Orleans. Uh, Corporate Hank, you just got out of a meeting. You were a little late today. Yeah, and um, then I had to take a shit. I was like, I'm not a breakfast guy, but Hank made me get up to eat breakfast. Average at best. It was not yeah. good breakfast. Blew out the colon a little bit. It just was not good breakfast. Good. All right, so we'll start with this then. Um, obviously, Bruce Arians walked away from the game, so we're going to have on our surprise guest, who's no longer a surprise guest, but we always use him as a surprise guest because uh, he thinks Tom Brady had nothing to do with this decision, so I'd like to hear from you. I can see Steve Che there. I mean, of course this was a Tom Brady decision. Anybody who thinks otherwise, and I don't know if Steve Che, I don't know why Steve Che necessarily cares, but it literally, like, what I, I forget what it was, something to the effect that this decision was made, like the same day Brady decided to come back. Brady goes to the soccer game or something with Glazer. Then he announces he's coming back. Ten seconds later, Arians. And by the way, rumors through the yin-yang that they didn't get along and Brady was upset. From and her. Brady was actually trying to go to Miami until um, the Flores stuff happened. Of course, the prerequisite for Tom Brady coming back to Tampa Bay was that Arians gets the fuck out of there. I don't know what, I mean, and I do the same thing. It was Tampa Bay. Like who's more important, Brady or the coach? Brady, clearly. Um, they're relevant. They have a chance to win the Super Bowl again. Nothing changed because Arians left. Arians is, su is suddenly Abraham Lincoln. He wants like to give a black coach an opportunity and he doesn't need the credit. Get out of here. This was... Aaron is an egotistical maniac. Of course he wants to win another Super Bowl or have the chance. I, whatever Steve Che is about to say, if he's saying that's not true, he is wrong and he knows he's wrong. Or he's a moron. That, I mean, and that's not against Steve Che. That's just a factual statement. I know you love the, the Nooners hat, the, the light blue one, but you should be wearing a tinfoil hat with all the stuff that you're saying. None of it is real. Um, the Miami stuff... Why? Because he wanted to buy a house in Miami? Okay, so did you. So did Gaz. Like, no big deal. That doesn't mean you want to play for the Dolphins. No. Like, you can have other because, residences. Do, um, does the name Bruce Beal mean anything to you? Bruce Beal? Yeah. It means zero to me. What is Bruce Beal? Who is Bruce Beal? That's what I thought. Okay. Um, are, we bringing up, are we bringing up who that person is? Yeah. Oh. Um, anyway, the, ti the timeline is... Well. is I don't He's know. Successor. I, the successor? Yeah, it sounds like he might be the, the dolphin successor to Stephen Ross. Maybe okay. there's a little. Great. Just, just, well, yeah. So, so let, let me walk you through you don't, you don't, You don't know, you don't know nothing, Steve. Oh, Chad. I know, I know, you know a lot. Saw, you think you know, <laughs> you didn't know who Bruce Beal was? I didn't know. No, so you know nothing. Well, let, me, let me give you the you accurate. You know nothing. You know nothing, four eyes. <laughs> you also wear glasses, so I don't know why that's <laughs> not prescription. I wear, I wear. Oh, so you're just a phony. B no, blue light, because yeah. I work so hard. My eyes go crisscross when I'm on the screen all day and twitch, twitch. Not because I'm a four-eyed geek like you, who knows nothing, Steve J. You don't do. I know too. You're so rattled that I just threw a central name out to you, and you're like, who's that? You, you, 
you're rattled. You're going to go on that little computer of yours, and you're going to do the research, and you're going to try to get up to speed. I know you. You know nothing. Well, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me give you the accurate timeline. So Brady announced on uh, that Sunday uh, that he was going to come back on social media. He texted players earlier that day. He told the organization around Friday. So they had known for a couple days. Bruce Arians and Brady talked on Sunday, obviously, once he found that he was coming back. It looks like sometime either Sunday night or Monday, Arians and Brady talked again. Now, Arians was planning on coming back because Brady had retired. He had always He's always been a guy who's about – uh, his assistants and his family, basically. Todd Bowles is a guy he coached in college at Temple. They'd been working together for almost 40 years, um, you know, dating back to that. He'd always had the plan, and people had always known. We had Jay Glazer in here right after Bruce Arians got hired, and he was saying, like, the plan with Arians is like two or three years, and he's going to hand it off. Um, Todd Bowles at that time was uh, interviewing for the Chicago Bears defensive coordinator job, which was a very good job considering they were coming off – the you know the the double doink game but they were you know an ascending team um he declined that job to stay in Tampa because he knew that he was the head coach in waiting and Jay Glazer confirmed that to me when I talked to him uh, a couple of years ago so this was always the plan the fact that Brady came back and basically had a good job for him waiting was perfect and now he can move to the front offense and do his you know senior consultant role and kind of still be involved in the organization but he lets his guy run the show and honestly his guys are were pretty much running the show the whole time he was the figurehead but he had the what's very popular in the nfl right now is the ceo coach mentality where he was in a golf cart the whole time just kind of watching over things um th- this report from the rich ro- Ornberger, who is pretty much like a similar following and this is not a sh- like he, he has a similar following to like a lot of a lot of people here like what the, what the hell does that guy know? And he's wrong on a lot of stuff. So for everything to be based off of him and Florio, who's been – who I, I like Mike Florio, who's been wildly wrong this entire time. He's like, Brady's trying to go to San Francisco, all this stuff. None of it was true. None of it had any weight to it. He just, Tom Brady just retired. He tried, you know, being at home, but he still had the itch. And then he decided to come back and play. It was always going to be the Bucks. In his post, he said he was going to play with Tampa. We have – dummies like Dante the Don and old balls being like, oh, he's still going to San Francisco. It's like, are you kidding? What are you guys missing from reading this post? Yep. Okay. Live in your little fantasy land. All the smoke. You're like, this is the only guy who said it. Then you name like six guys who said it. It wasn't just Florio and Rich Ornberger. That's it. You don't wait. No, no, no. Uh, Dale Arnold, who has super the hockey guy, the hockey guy from Boston. I don't like Dale Arnold, but he has <laughs> yeah. the hockey guy from Boston. Okay, well, no, 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 Dale Arnold. He Is does not a hockey guy from I Boston. I don't, yeah, I don't like Dale Arnold. No, he wasn't just a hockey guy, he was, um, he had he was on the local talk radio for like 30 years. It's it, like, that holds him as much Brady, weight as well, Ryan no, no, Whitney no. saying. No, 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 right. no, he was covering Brady before you were born. I don't think you know how old I am. You act like you're 12. I'm 36. You are old. (laughs) What about him saying he talked to Jay Glazer personally, though, Dave? Does that hold any weight? No. Zero. What do I care if he talks to Jay Glazer personally? Okay. Well, I'm just saying I talked to several people within the organization in the, in the past few he days, and, and my, my timeline. My timeline is also. Oh, 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 the, the, oh, oh, Eddie, he's talked to a couple people in the organization who won't go on the record and say that the reason Arians got kicked upstairs was because of Brady. Oh, people within the Bucks told Stephen Shea that. Okay, well then it must be true. What are we talking about? This is the dumbest also, thing. It's also, so obvious what happened. You, Brady. No, Brady, not retired, not retired, not retired. I mean, retired, retired, retired. He comes out of retirement. Arians, two seconds later, gets kicked upstairs. Come on. And he Come wants, on. and, and, and uh, Brady wants a defensive coach then? Who, Brady, like, flamed Brady out with the Jets? Want Arians. Brady, you think Brady cares? He just didn't want to deal with that egotistical piece of shit. All, all, a, all of your facts a have a ton Brady of holes. Brady is the coach. It, it, I, he definitely has a lot of weight there, for sure. Who? Brady. Yeah, certainly. He does a lot of that. Oh, you think he does? I know he does. Wasn't he at a soccer game with the Glazers like two days ago? No, that's where you're wrong. Because Joel Glazer and the Glazers were not there. Get your facts right. He wasn't with them? No. It's been confirmed from Joel Glazer and Jason Light. No, he was not. Brady was sitting in the stands like a regular dude. 
You think if he's going to see the Glazers, they're letting him sit in the stands? Come on. Wait, was the Glazers at that game? They were not. They own the team, but they were not at that game. Bring me something real. Come on. I'm, I just want to saw a picture of them together. No. You don't know what Joel Glazer looks like. No, it was in the caption, wasn't it? What I read? And the guys that you're oh, citing, I'll, like... I like, will do that research after, Stephen Shea. Okay, good. I look forward to seeing it. And you look to look on who uh, Bruce Beal is. Okay. Should I wear my tinfoil hat when I'm reading it? This connection is so much deeper than you even know about. You, you, you know what you are? You're surface level. You get the information that people want to feed you. Like, I, there's meetings, like, and we're like, let's throw Stephen Shea this. And I'm in those meetings. And you just eat it. <laughs> but you don't understand your surface level. Your surface level, Stephen. Okay. If that's what you think, you're a conspiracy you're, Dave. You're a, little, you're a little pawn. Like, people are choosing where to move you on the chessboard, oh, and you don't even night. know it. No, you're a pawn. You're the first guy that gets moved. Like, where do we want to move Stephen Che? And they just move you, and you're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. You think you have your own mind and your own brain and your decision. You don't. You don't make any decision that is not already made for you. You're surface level. You're not a chess guy, I can tell. I'm not a chess guy? No. Yeah, right. Searching for Bobby Fischer? That's a movie. No shit, I watched it when I was a kid and then became fucking basically a grandmaster. I'd rock you in chess. Steve, how's the data chess? going? Yeah. You'd rock me in chess? I would, yeah. I'd absolutely rock you in chess. Yeah, yeah. No, you want it. Um, sorry. Oh, that? can we set that up we live on the? Have, uh, we may have to have a chess game. All right. Are you got? Would you do it online, Dave, or is it, you got to be in person for that? What, what, I don't you, play online. I need a nice chess board, Eddie, with fancy pieces. I got one. Right. Ma wooden magnetic pieces, really nice. Magnetic's fucking lame. <laughs> all right, we're setting that up. <laughs> that needs to happen. Um, all right, Steve. A anything else here? How's the data? How's how's the picks going, Dave? You seen his props he's putting out there? Yeah, seven. I, I was all over seven and a half rebounds. Uh, Jermaine Samuel was tough. Yeah, sucked loser. Sucked. Yep. He was pacing the whole game. Um, there was one where he got a block, whatever. But I don't Brady, know that he was actually pacing. He, he was. He, he was, was four like, at halftime. It was every. It was literally every five minutes. He just got taken out with thirty seconds left. Mm, mm. It's the definition of pacing. Um, Brady mm. Bannock, though. Over two and a half threes. Bang, Lucky. bang. That was yours? That was, a, that was an all-time bet. Yeah, that was me. Big Cat gave you that. Yeah, yeah texted that was to a nice him hit. 12 hours before. I, I thought we were dead when they missed the wide open three. But I, I was the one who had the stat out, oh, Eddie. It was, uh, you know, Caleb Daniels. I don't need to do math. I have my brain. That's from the Orleans, calculator. Yeah. yeah, it's from New Orleans. What over... Over one and a half threes, bang. Over 12 and a half points, done with 14 minutes left in the game. Brain. Brain. I don't need, I don't need four eyes over here doing it. I, I have my brain. I got a big one tonight. Surface level. Who? When is this coming out tonight? Is this coming out tonight? Uh, Where's tomorrow. my phone? I lost my phone. They took the props down. Uh, uh, I think they're... Um, I found it. Uh, they're reevaluating the Armando Bacot uh, stuff. But uh, Kansas uh, guard forward Christian Brown over two and a half assists. I have so you much. You said it's not up? It was up earlier today. I got it. And I'm going to tweet it. And it's at plus money, which is crazy. You could probably cut the. This isn't airing until after the game, right? Okay. Yeah. I can talk to you about Hold this. Hold on. I don't want people. I'm looking right now. Surface level. Can I give you the date on this? The date on this is incredible. Yeah, I, I won't let me log in. All right, two and a half assists. In the tournament, he's averaging 4.8 assists a game. Uh, Kansas is averaging, um, let me see, where is it? Um, they're averaging 26. What's the guy's name? Christian Brown, it's spelled like Braun, Kansas guard. 6'6", six, six, yep. 218, he plays 36 minutes a game. Oh, two and a half? Two and a half over. Um, Field goals made. Uh, Kansas is averaging 26.75 field goals made, um, averaging 14.25 assists per game in the last four. Means they get an assist on every 26.3% of buckets. Um, uh, or sorry, 50, 52 point, 
53.2 percent of his uh, of the buckets are assisted basically christian brown gets uh an assist every like b-r-a-u-n yes spelled like braun he gets an Just assist put every 80 four. grand on it <laughs> i feel i feel great about this i didn't put nearly you, that you much better surface level like i he, haven't been back in new york in months if this thing doesn't hit, I may divert my plane from Miami to you just to take those glasses off and smash them. 14% of all field goals Kansas makes, he assists on. So Kansas needs to score 22 buckets. They've scored that each of the last four games. They're at 22, 29, 27, 29 again. So if they get 22 and an, buckets. An assist in basketball, it's not like hockey. It's low. The line is low. Based, based on their point totals. I feel very strongly about this. I'm, I'm comfortable with your bet. It's not okay. my money, of course. <laughs> All right. I feel good. I, I feel good. I put Shit. a big play on it myself. I just put a big play on it myself as well. Going to throw the rook at you, break your glasses when you guys play now, Steve, if this, I, if I this loses. I will stomp those motherfucking glasses to death. And then what happens, what happens when it hits? I'll give you five grand. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. Good question, Steve. Good question. All right. Uh, thank is, you, Steven. going to look potentially incredible or terrible on this airs on Tuesday. <laughs> um, all right. I appreciate you Well, guys. no, we're going to have to cut this shit out and put this out before the game. Clearly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's at plus money. Is that plus 115 when I got it? Yeah, I, I got it at plus 110. My guess is nobody else will get it at that action because I just put it in. Um, let's. I'm a line mover. That's well. Fact. I don't know that you will per se are a line mover because and I put pass, in pass NBA Caleb and, and Daniels best. at 135 and it went off at like 185. But I know I was going to uh, get that until it went to one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good over pick. two and a half plus 110, 80 to 188. So you'll get my plus. You'll get that. If I'll give you five, and we'll see. All yeah, right. That's good. Appreciate you guys. Thank right, you, Stephen. Good luck tonight. That that took a turn. Let's go, Christian Brown. <laughs> I uh, rooting for him to dish the basketball is something. I I don't know. I mean, I want you to win, obviously, but the uh, the content if this doesn't hit is. I will smash his glasses. I will take them and I will smash them under my foot. We should. I mean, I mean, I think you're, you'll do it anyways. But we should have got him to agree to it and like have a sludge hammer ceremony where. No, it's my foot. I'd smash them with my foot, put it on the ground, and smash them. That's all you need. Um, all right, what do you think? So you think he's just delusional about that whole thing? Yes, 1,000%. I did think Glazer was with Brady. That's news to me that they weren't, but it's kind of irrelevant. Like, clearly, he talked to Glazer. Uh, there's no chance it was a coincidence. There's all the pre that Brady and Arians didn't get along. And then Brady comes back and Aaron's gone. That's all you got to know. Yeah, I think it's very naive to think that he didn't know that any of that was going down. Please, please. Very naive. And even how quickly the decision came from Aaron's after, like, it, it, he didn't even take time to think about it. It was like, bang, bang. Yeah. What, what about Beal? You were kind of cryptic when he brought that up. I feel oh, I like think you... there's, I think there's heavy, heavy Miami Dolphin, Tom Brady connections um, that if you don't know who Bruce Beal is and his background and the connections with Brady, um, you're not doing homework. Can you, can you let the people know? No, they're just they're, they're, I think they run in social circles. Okay. So you, do you think it could actually ha I mean, the, the sale won't go through that fast, but. He'll play with the Bucks this year at this point, I would assume. No, yeah, no, I'm just saying, all I'm saying is I think there was definite credence Brady to the Dolphins. I think that mm. is, that, that, that's not a made up, I don't think it's still active, <clears throat> or maybe it is, I don't think so, but it wasn't made up. Those rumors aren't made up out of thin air. There was some, uh, okay, you think there's, there was look, some truth to it? Generally, when there's smoke, there's fire. Brady, Steve Che is saying, Basically, all the rumors about Brady were just false. No, no way. No way. Yeah. No, I, I tend to agree with you. Um, all right. Well, when he smashes glasses, though, I'm sure you'll have a pair of bird dogs on, right? Yeah, I'm not wearing them today. I've been wearing bird dogs all week. Today, I'm not. Um, but they are the best. Uh, bird dogs, 
They have the shorts. They got joggers. Super comfortable. I love it. I, I'm still even almost not in, like when I travel, I overpack underwear because with bird dogs, you don't need it. It's a great feeling at the end of the trip to see I'm still like five pairs of underwear clean because bird dogs, you don't need underwear. They have the insider lining, super comfortable. Go to birddogs.com. Use promo code Dave. Um, well, I'm, I have a sheet that says Blue Texas Suggested Discussion Topics. I don't need discussion topics for bird dogs, but my sheet is all black and white, so I don't have blue. So I, don't I got know the red for you. Talking then. about. I what, got the red I, for me then. Uh, Go to birddogs.com, enter promo code Dave, and they'll throw in a free bird dogs whistle to football. That's birddogs.com, promo code Dave, and boom, a free bird dogs whistle to football with your pair of bird dogs. Uh, gear up for summer with bird dogs. You will not take these things off, I promise you. So, what does this mean on this sheet? One message and one message only? Talk about how amazing the shorts and joggers are? I, they are. I don't need yeah. a sheet that tells me to talk about it. Everyone knows I wear them every day. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. you. Um, so yeah, go get bird dogs. Simple enough. Uh, all right. Your dad's going to join us in like 10 minutes or so too. Oh, I might um, get, all right, seat. Why don't you back up? I think you're fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, before that, obviously, how's it going out there? It seems like it's a, it's a nice trip. New Orleans. Yeah. I really like the city. I love where the hotel is. We're in like the art district, Bourbon street. Not my jam, um, a little bit gross, trashy, hectic. But if you are not on Bourbon Street, there's so many cool places to eat, um, cool vibe, kind of like retro. I really like the city. I haven't spent a ton of time here. In fact, this is the first time I think I've really been here even overnight. So I, I love it. I, I, I really like the city. It's awesome. It's top five for me. I'm disappointed you don't like Bourbon. I mean, I guess I could have guessed that, but... It's just too much. Yeah. Like, I'm not a Bourbon Street guy. I'm not a Duval Street guy. I'm not a Times Square guy. That's all one and the same. They're tourist traps. Well, but if you really just want to tie one on and get fucked up like Bourbon Street is, there's nothing better. Yeah, but you can do that anywhere. There's other areas I feel like you can do that without it, like, being trash. It's I don't trash. know. It's trash. It's trash. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's got a it's got a funk to it for sure. It does. Yeah. It, it smells a little bit. And I was but, debating doing like a pizza crawl last night because there's a million. I think they're all the same pizza places owned by the same place. I think. I think so because too. They all look identical, like mm -hmm. the pizza with the drinks. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's just. And again, Eddie, I don't want to make it seem like. I like me and Dan wrestled down Bourbon Street. And a lot of our guys have been going there, so maybe it's a combo of age, everything. I can't walk, like, two steps without, like, pictures. And so it, it's, it, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's very – there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of action. So I get it. Yeah. I get it. Does Silvana I mean, like it, just, it? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. her jam. That's what I, that's what I figured because I, it's she just – it's it. like – Yeah, loves it's like it. concert partying. Well, yeah, you got one. You got one strand hick sticking up. Do you know that? You got an alfalfa going on. Yeah, I saw it earlier. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think you got it. Thank you. No, I don't think so, but it's all right. Um, how was the uh, hogs Did for I get a cause? I uh, yeah. It looks like maybe the headphones are covering it up, but regardless, you're it, it looks better. So you're good. Um. Great event. <laughs> what are you going to say? It was a great event. Raised The event raised a ton of money, and it was a great event. There was no food when we went, which, which will boggle my mind. We showed up on Friday night. There was just no food. Like, I was expecting ribs, pulled pork, brisket, hogs for a cause. Mincy's flying in all these people from all over the place to cook. There was no food at our tent. Like, none. Like, people are starving to death. How late did you go? Seven. We went right after our, our live show. And what did it start? There was just start? no food. 
I mean, there was like, it was scavenging for food. And you walk around, it, it, we just, it was hard. To, it was a little confusing to me, that portion. I don't know if Saturday was the day you get to eat. There was like chicken wings. There were some chicken wings that were hard to come by. Um, somebody from a different booth bought me a grilled cheese. Thank God I probably would have starved to death. Uh, that was confusing. And Big Cat came back. Like, we, I took a tour, and he pulled me aside. He's like, is it, like, a little confusing? I'm like, yeah, there's no food. He's like, yeah, exactly. There's, like, no, ri- like, none. I guess maybe it was the next day. Um, I thought there was going to be ribs coming out of my asshole, brisket, pork. Like, I was anticipating the best, like, barbecue in that stuff I'd ever had at Hogs for the Cause. There's just none. Like, we didn't have, there's a couple poppers. They're like, we're sold out. It's like, well, what are we doing here then? No food. Yeah, I mean, I feel the name Hawks for a Cause, and you see tents and shit. Like, I figure out. And there everything. were tons of tents. I think we just were at, like, the wrong time or something. Oh, okay. Um, there was just no food. <laughs> what did, um, what Like, was the I final? went to a barbecue place the next day, Blue Oak. Yeah. And I saw some of the pit masters who were cooking on behalf of our team there. Like, I went to Blue Oak. M- Mitzi didn't give me one recommendation for the city of New Orleans. Not one. All he, really? like, he didn't give me nothing. All he had was that hogs for cause with no food. And um, I went to Blue Oak, which he says is the best barbecue. That was a great meal. Great ribs, great everything. That's what I was expecting at Hogs for the Cause. But still a great event. Raised a ton of money for charity. And I think we, I think Saturday maybe was when you could eat. Or maybe earlier Friday. But you couldn't eat when we got there. There was no food. Well, I mean, Mincy, he's, he can't be worried about giving you recommendation. He's, he's signing. True. He's wheeling and dealing, signing up. Yep. Getting yeah, signed up. Yeah, totally. Yep. So... Uh, that but it's a very open. cool event. I assume there's food at certain times, just not when we were really there. So Blue Oak was good, though? Very good. That best merch in the game, too. You like the merch? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. I, I like the colors. Yeah, they, they took care of they, they It was nice. We showed up. They let us cut the line, gave us a nice table, and just like brought out all the food. It was great. That's good, then. Um, score bet launched today in Canada, right? Yep. So they're live uh, in Ontario, first day. So anybody in Canada, uh, welcome. Play with the score, download it, bet, gamble. Uh, It's an important market, and score is huge there, so hopefully we do very well. Different rules, still figure out, like, what, how how we can promote in the United States and things like that. What's the biggest change that... You can't do, like, hey, you win a free shirt. Like, they don't allow that type of stuff from what I've gathered. But we're figuring it out as we go. Okay. So go get the score bet in Canada. And then that's just going to be, is it going to be weird? Are you going to be pushing that a lot though? Is it going to be weird? That might confuse Uh, some people, no? No, I, no, we'll do both. Like we're focusing obviously on like the overs club and shit as I move forward. I gotta be careful. I guess I move forward back. I just need my coffee. Um, Yeah, no, they're responsible for promoting it. Really not us. Are you going to go uh, to Canada and do anything up there or no? Probably at some point. Okay. But it hasn't so, been scheduled. Okay. So look out for that. Score bet launched. Uh, go bet on the uh, score bet app. Um, All our uh, Ontario friends. I mean, spit and chiclets, obviously. Yeah, they'll do shit up there, huh? I mean, they're so big with hockey. And as far as yeah. I know, they care about hockey in Canada. Last, we last got a year. warehouse up there too. That that's that I found that interesting. That that's new, right? I don't know if you knew that or not, though. It's a ship. It's a what? What did you say? To ship to the, you're saying the spit and chiclets guys. Yeah, I'm saying there's like a barstool. Yeah, there's like a a merch warehouse there now. From what I understand. Yes, to ship. Yeah, to, to make shipping cheaper, yes. Correct. Yes. Cor- correct. I don't know why. You you were the one that... No, I was agreeing, and then you that. were, like, being a jerk. No, I wasn't being a jerk. Um, 
I saw you talking about it on Friday, though. What's up with uh, Jeff Nadu? He's trying to steal everybody's broad. What do you think about that? Does it make you uneasy um, with a guy with a as a guy with a girlfriend? No, because Jeff Nadu and I have a great relationship, so I don't think he'd stoop to that level. No. But if he uh, wants it, he could probably take it. So other people should be nervous, is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. If, well. Again, he's a classic guy, so I don't think he would do that, but it was just a fair warning. If he wants to, he can't. Mm -hmm. um, what did, uh, did you have a lot of follow-up? Did you have any follow-up with one-month trial, Ethan? None. None? Because I'm not at the point yet. I haven't figured out what I'm doing. I, a lot of people want to be part of this misfit crew that I talked about, and a lot of people saying, hey, let me in. Too many people. I'm not ready for that stage. When we get to that stage, I will let people know we're doing interviews or applications or however it's going to roll out, but we're not there yet. Applications were through the roof. Yes, tons of people. But I'm not there. I don't even look at it. It's like I'm not even at the evaluation stage. So anybody who sent me, hey, I, I'm this, I've done this, I'd be, this is why I'm good for the crew, I didn't even read it. I'm not there yet. And no, I won't so be the one reading it, to be honest. It'll, you'll have to probably go through like Gaz or something or Austin. So then stop applying. Yeah, stop sending those, I guess, for You're just now. wasting your time at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till he gives the green light and then send those. Um, all right. I think your dad should be hopping in here any minute now. Uh, let's do uh, Helix Sleep while we wait for him, Dave. Okay. Um, so Helix Sleep, these are the mattresses. I got them in. Uh, in my Miami place, I got them in my Hamptons place. Uh, they're great mattresses. You wake up feeling refreshed, rested. It's the best mattress I've ever had. I took the Helix Quiz as a match with the Midnight Mattress because I want something that felt not too firm, not too soft. I sleep on my side. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash Dave. Helixsleep.com slash Dave. 200 bucks off two free pillows, a 10 year warranty. You don't have to try it for a hundred nights. You get to try it, excuse me, for a hundred nights risk-free. They'll even pick it up if you don't love it, but you will love it so you'll never see them again. You'll get the mattresses. Um, best way to sleep, Helix mattresses. I literally probably have 10 of them. I got a Helix too, it's awesome. Like I, I took the quiz and everything was personalized. They gave me a mattress exactly how I wanted it. I get a great night's rest now. Uh, so thank you to Helix for that. I'm happy with my mattress. So you can go check them out if you're in the mattress game for sure. Um, all right, I think, I don't know. I, maybe your dad's having technical difficulties. You think? Uh, Would that yeah, be? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. He was at the car dealership earlier today when I talked to him. So he's got a lot going okay. on. Um, so while we wait for him, we'll just keep mowing them down. And on that note, I don't know if you knew this. You're talking about your crew and, uh, you know, Hamptons, Miami crew. Uh, Barstool Idol is coming back. Are you aware of that? I did know that, I think, yes. But it's going to be a different kind of uh, format, different kind of thing. You're not going to be involved from what I understand. That sounds great. <laughs> Why, you just don't want to do it? It's in New York, I assume. No, you're just not going to be there. I heard the yak is going to be involved in some capacity, so um, so look out for that, I guess. Uh, did you see that whole thing with uh, speaking of the yak with 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 uh, the stand-up comedian um, Chris DeStefano? There was some beef. Yeah, yeah, but I thought it was fake because he's a funny guy and he likes us, so that was real beef. I I from what I understand, I didn't talk to anyone like directly involved, but he seemed pretty mad in the backup video when he went to KFC's pod. KFC's oh, room. So I, I didn't even go into it in detail because I, I know he likes Barstool. I'm, at least I was under that impression. So whenever I see that, I figure, and he's a comedian, I figured it was not real beef. No, and I shouldn't say mad, but he was. I, it just seemed like he had an attitude of like, oh, what, what, what's going on here? Who are these guys kind of fucking with me? But I, I could be wrong. Who knows? There he is. I would guess he seems like he's got a good sense of humor. So I, I would guess it was... Uh, playful in nature I and mean, I haven't seen it so maybe I'm wrong mm -hmm. and I don't think we'd put it out if he really did have so I'm, again without seeing it that would be my guess all right so here he is Mr. Portnoy connecting the audio um you there dad 
Connection audio, once that's gotta click in and we'll be good. I told him he's just gotta make sure he clicks that button. He can't <laughs> see us. <laughs> you think he knows we're here? Dad. <laughs> yeah, no, he waved back, so he sees us. All right. <laughs> oh man <laughs> how is this possible every time such a great bit he's so close he just got to connect to the audio at the bottom why is he going up and down too on this thing? i think he's just adjusting i'm gonna call him <laughs> More things change, more they stay the same. He's about five seconds from being flustered and confused. Yo. How are we doing, Mr. Portnoy? Well, I've got, again, this audio, I try to go up top and I don't see anything. I'm on the I iPad I'm using. Uh, nothing happened. Okay, so you you're on the to iPad. Go in the top corner, huh? Yeah, I I'm think on the you, iPad. I think the iPad, you said it, it was from, yeah, yours was on the top. You're so close, I see it. It says connecting to audio. If you just hit yes, then that's all we uh, that's all we need. I, we're talking about in the right hand upper corner, right? Yeah. What is it? Does it say like uh, like microphone? It doesn't say anything. Eddie. No. There's only just a little icon. Okay. Uh, what's the icon? Oh, wait a minute. Something just happened. Uh, I got it now. I got it. I got it. Connect. No, connect no. All right. Can you hear me now? Uh, no, it's, it still says it's connecting. Oh, hold on. I think you're just, what it, you're hitting your camera now. Is there a different little tab that says microphone? No, I'm not hitting the camera. I'm talking to you. No. <laughs> it, it was here a second ago and then it disappeared. No. Uh, so it, it should just look like a. Uh... All I see, Eddie, I, it, it doesn't say, it's just a little mark. Up in the right-hand corner. All right, wait, yeah, there it is again. There it is again. Now what? It says join audio. All right. So, wait, what does it say? It said join. There it is. It says join audio. Should I hit that? Yes, 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 yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. It keeps disappearing. It, it, was <laughs> oh, it says M Michael Portnoy is connecting the audio. I didn't see that. It just said join audio. Yeah, join audio. That's all we need. That's all we need. I know it. I'm trying to explain to you. I saw it. I hit it with my finger, and then it disappears. <laughs> well, I think you're – I think whatever you're hitting is – maybe you're hitting the camera on accident because you're hitting – and it's turning no, off your – No, it's not the camera. It's not the camera because it shows some headphones on it. It says join, and it just goes – and then it disappears. <laughs> is there like a uh, – do you want to back out and click back in again? Not really. It says join audio. <laughs> yeah, join, that's what we need to do. I know, but I'm telling you, to, to, to hear others, uh, it, what it says to hear others, please, now there's a uh, join audio Wi-Fi. Should I hit that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that. Try that. Try that. Oh, there we, we go. The I think we got it. Talk. Okay. Uh, we got it. We it's different it. every single time. It's different. I find that hard to believe that's different every time. I know. You would find a lot of things about me hard to believe. Good morning, my friend, my son. Good morning. How are you? Good. Haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Where are good, you? Good, good, good. Uh, what? I'm in New Orleans. We're, you're still in New Orleans? New Orleans. Going to the yeah. game? No, yeah. I don't think we are going to the game tonight, actually. Who do you think is going to win that game? I think it's a coin I know what I think. Really? I think Kansas is going to win that. I mean, common sense tells me uh, that uh, you uh, that uh, UNC, I mean, they got to be hard to get up for this. I mean, after the, the, the prior game, I would think. It's such a short. You don't think so? No. Plus, I think I, Kansas I, is better. Well, they they may be better, but I don't think it. I I think you can get up for the national championship. 
Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, you normally, obviously, you would say that. I mean, I Kansas that- is a blue blood. It's they're, they're four point favorites, Kansas. So I don't think it. it I get your point. I, there, I guess there's some logic to it, but I don't think that will be the case. I guarantee you, if the especially if the game is not really close and UNC gets killed, people are going to say that that they just couldn't. You know, it was too much to 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 swallow, etc. I can't think of a better word in a short space of time that the other game took so much out of them. It may be they're just not nearly as good as Kansas, too. I mean, that's also possible too. Uh, but I, you know, I tell you something. I uh, Myself, I was a lot more interested in the, the Coach Gay game with uh, UNC than I am this. I'll Whoa. watch it. Yeah, that I mean, that was one of the biggest college basketball games yeah. of all time. I mean, I, I, but it is still the national championship. And no, I understand. So, and, and Kansas is still a blue blood program. And North Carolina, Kansas still has a lot of appeal and panache. So, I mean, by the time this airs, the game will know who, what, what the outcome was. Well, for the record, I'm predicting that Kansas will win. Yeah, oh, they're a four-point favorite. Will yeah, you be well, able to stay up the whole the whole game, Mr. Portnoy, no you think? No, 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 no. And that's not true. I have been staying up. I have been staying up. And then I get up in the morning at my usual four. It's not morning, in the middle of the night at four o'clock. And the next, I really feel it the next day because I didn't get enough sleep. But I'll be able to stay up for something like this. Yeah, unless it's a rub. Unless uh, it's a rub, you know what I, I started. Uh, you know what I started to watch too was the women's game. I thought that UConn, uh, that whole program is really something. If you think about, it. I know it's an easier path generally, but uh, the uh, that Paige Beckers, she she's I might be mispronouncing her last name. I'm not sure, but she she that game that they won that got you uh, UConn into the Final Four. Uh, actually got him into the final four. That was, she was tremendous. She was tremendous. They were going to lose that game. And she, in the, in the end of it, she just took over and was unbelievable. I never realized, I never watched that much uh, women's college basketball. It, it's a little different that there's four, that, you know, that's not two halves. It's four quarters. And each quarter is obviously much shorter. So before you know it, that, you know, first quarter is over, second quarter, you know, it just goes by so quickly because the, I don't know the exact time frame, but it, it's very short because I they think don't. it's the same. No, the, the quarters are shorter than the, when the men have but aren't, two halves. Are they, I don't, are they, they're not 10-minute they quarters? Yeah, but they're not 10-minute quarters? No, I don't think so. How long is a women's quarter? 10, 10 minutes. So it would be the well, same exact amount of time. The total time may be may be the same as the men. The total time of the game, but what I'm saying is those quarters to me they fly. Right, I'm talking about the women now. They fly right by. It's so fast. They couldn't Correct. be playing. That would mean that if you said it's going to be exactly the same, that would mean that they're playing longer than the men, and that couldn't be the case. No, I'm saying there a quarter in the women's game is ten minutes and a half. In the men's game is 20 minutes, so they're playing the exact same amount of time. Yeah, I understand the total is the same, but the each quarter that the women play is less. Correct, but that's it, what I'm the, saying. And, it, and my point was, which I'm trying to make, is that it goes by when you're watching. It goes by so quickly. You're smirking a little bit. I want to talk. The, <laughs> it's literally the same exact. It ma- wait, it's, can we just acknowledge? No, no, because I'm going to. This is related to what I'm going to talk about. Exact amount of this time. Is related to something I'm going to talk about. Did you see that MIT and Harvard, for instance, they for a few years you didn't have to take the SAT. Now you do. They've decided it wasn't a good idea. And you know, I told told uh, uh, Eddie about this. Why is the camera moving? Because my head is moving. But it seems like it's going up. Are you holding the iPad? No. I, the iPad is in, a, is in a holder. I'm not doing anything. Uh, oh, all right. But that brings me back to the, to, and of course, you're going to tell me what I'm about to say is not correct. Well, I, first of all, I, yeah, 
uh, continue. I don't know where that connection right. between when Harvard David, and well, You're going to see in a minute, we're talking about arithmetic. <laughs> when David Portnoy, young David Portnoy, took the SAT the first time, he did pretty well. And I was, uh, I wouldn't say it was a helicopter parent, but I don't think you would say that either, I hope. But you, I felt at the time when you did pretty well, I don't remember the score, but you did pretty well in the SAT without taking any test prep, prep which every Jewish family within 100 miles of Swampscott was taking, having their kids take a test prep and, uh, you know, a course. David Portnoy refused to do that. I don't need that. I can do it on my own. And, of course, I was 100% against that because I said, you got to get some help to do this. He said, I don't need it. So to spite me, he took the test and he did pretty well. I don't remember the numbers, but you did pretty well. The, the, the camera is moving. <laughs> I mean, I'm not just, moving the camera. So, something is moving. Eddie, is something moving or am I, I think, crazy? Well, yeah, though the iP are you just moving the iPad a little bit? No. It's no. in a Some holder. Honest to God, I wouldn't lie to you about it. It's in a holder. Are, are you touching the holder? Is the holder no. moving? No. <laughs> Eddie, you're seeing what I'm <laughs> seeing, here. right, Eddie? You don't believe me. That's moving right there. Eddie, am I going crazy? <laughs> no, Look it's, at my it's, hands. <laughs> Look at my hands. Is the desk moving? Are you bumping the desk I'm with your knees? I'm not that strong, Eddie. It's on a desk. I'm not pushing the desk. There was something <laughs> moving. Can I get to my point? And can you by, just we, by the way, Eddie, this story is all time. We haven't got how this <laughs> has gone back. To the, to the women's versus men's, because, correct, okay. Because Continue. when you take an SAT test, one of the things you have to be tested in is your mathematical skill, right? So, yeah. so we were a minute ago talking about the, the basketball, and that would delve into arithmetic. So let me finish what I was about to say, because you're going to tell me I'm, this, what I'm saying is insult. So anyway, you did pretty well with it, taking the test without taking the test prep. <laughs> It's still moving. I, it's, no, I'm it's just, I feel like you're slowly sinking off the table. Right. Like, go ahead. All right. So you did pretty well with it. With, so naturally, I said to you, geez, if you did this well, and you know something, you're a decent athlete, I thought you could bump into maybe a little better school that you otherwise had, could go to because here you're a decent athlete. Now you got a nice SAT score. And, gee, why don't, why don't you take get a little help this time and you do even better? And, of course, you said, no, no, I don't want to do that. For some reason, you agreed to do something. You got a little help from some source. I don't remember. But maybe it was an individual that was doing that. I don't remember. Maybe you can fill me in on it. Naturally, you did worse the second time. Out of spite, probably. <laughs> okay, it didn't move. Come on. <laughs> I'm not moving. I know. Wanna... You want to see my hand? Right, you know what I'm going to do? Wait a minute. Wait, let me say what I'm get all do. over the place. This, this, what, can I now your what body is showing. This? I'm moving a little further away from the screen. All right? Look at how far away I am. All okay, right? Maybe that's it. I don't know. All right. Is it better? <laughs> it's just different. All right. Let's talk about what I just said. You disagree with anything I just said? Or you don't remember? No, I don't disagree with anything you just said. I, I do think I, I took some sort of prep class, and I, re, I did worse the second time when I had the yeah. class. Yeah, and the first time you didn't take any Correct. prep yeah, class, yeah. you did better. Right, yeah. <laughs> you don't find that. Did you do that? A, you a didn't move. Me? All right. You just did not move anywhere with your chair, and the camera went to the right. <laughs> Look at how far away I am from this. <laughs> Look at how far away I am. <laughs> Eddie... He's right. He's right. It's got a phantom camera. It just bounces around. All right. Continue. So I just wanted to remind you of that. And then we started talking about the arithmetic with the, with the basketball. So I thought that led right into that. The second thing, can I talk about this? I want to defend myself because you misrepresented entirely. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Before we get into this. What did that have to do? That story, that, that, what did that story you just told have to do with the women's having four quarters at 10 each? Because he have? was starting to talk about the arithmetic of the fact that the game, the total game was identical. 
But I was trying to say that the quarters were shorter. I picked up on it. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey oh. why do I have to have you translate things for him? I don't but know, Mr. Portnoy. I, I got it, the though. Same Did you understand? Of- a thousand percent. The audience will get it. Everyone's going to get it except you're for Dave. Saying, it's his problem. You're saying the women's game goes faster than the men's. It's faster. Yes, it seems faster because the quarters fly by. They fly by. There's four of them, but they fly by. Okay. And, and, and I that story the had team. absolutely nothing to do with the SAT. The what are you yes, talking about? Fair. It was talking about numbers, fly by, arithmetic, Thank SAT. You. All right, Thank you. All right, you're, not pay, you're, not, you're too busy criticizing the screen and not paying attention to what's being said. Totally okay. agree. Get okay. your mind off the screen. <laughs> okay. All right? Now let's talk about something the last time I was on that you misrepresented what I said. That I said that you, you ought to expand your audience so you get some 80-year-olds Correct. to listen. Yeah, I remember that right, yes. <laughs> I never said that. You said it. And oh, I no, think I your mother might have somehow made a sarcastic remark that you picked up on that, uh, oh, your dad's talking about the 80-year-olds. No, you, I you never s- talked about that. I you will said tell you, what, you said you were talking to somebody who didn't know who we were, had no yeah. idea who I was, and that we're not as big as I think. And I said, how old was this person? Mom said 80. She said it. I didn't say it. So she's lying? I'm not, re- I'm not responsible for what she says. I, what, how old was the person you were talking to? You know something? I don't even remember who I was talking to at this point about that. I will say there's some more updated things. Your mother went to... Uh, uh, the bar in Philadelphia, she was very impressed with it. She said it was wonderful. And she was with some people, they're not 80, all right, but they're our contemporaries age wise. How they old are you? No, huh? Okay, go ahead. How old are you? 74. <laughs> these people, these people okay. are not, they're not the people that you do. What's that, the BFF kids that you're on with? Are they big yeah. gamblers, those people? Because this is a gambling site, I understand. So you should be trying, and you've done it. I'm not saying you haven't. And since we were on that other time, you've done some things to broaden your appeal that I, I think are good. Uh, I forget exactly what they were called, but I definitely think you were appealing to a, to a wider audience, which you should be doing. And I think that there are, you know, there are people... Let's talk about, we don't have to talk about 80-year-olds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just say something. You're like saying, on one hand, I exaggerated, they weren't 80. You're talking about your contemporaries, but you're 74. All right. My contemporaries are anywhere from 50 to 74. All right? Not 80, not 90. People in their 50s, 40s. These people. No, No, 40s, my contemporaries. 50s. These people, 60, as I you, seventy. You're seventy-four. Is this what we're going to argue about this? <laughs> well, you're I'm the one who's like, I wasn't talking about eighties. I was talking I about my day. contemporaries. All right, hey, let's take a quick break here from talking to Mr. Portnoy, and let's talk about Roback, Dave. Yeah, that was something. Uh, we all know Roback back for another year, hands down, best fit, best feel. When it comes to quality, these guys just get it. I actually saw somebody who was at a coffee shop. They were wearing Roback yesterday. I'm like, Roback gave me a little pump fist. Um, I have the Performance Hoodies Total Game Changer, the softest, stretchiest hoodies in the game. The Roback Performance Polos are the only polos we wear here at Dave Portnoy's show. Can't find a better fitting performance polo. The print polo is always on point. Their classic solids don't miss. They're simply the best. And Roback's Performance Cues bring a new meaning to the word comfortable. Perfect for every occasion. They have the definition of versatile. So use the code Eddie, that's you, Eddie, E D T I E, Eddie, on Roback.com for 20% off your first order. That's spelled Roback.com. 20% off all polos, Q-zips, hoodies, and tees with code Eddie. Make sure to check out their freshly restocked hoodies just in time for spring. R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com, Eddie, 20% off. The hoodies are honestly awesome. It's spring season. You know, it's a little it's a little still, you know, weather's changing. Go grab them. They're awesome. They, they're very comfortable. So, all right, let's hop back into uh, talking to uh, Mr. Portnoy. You are a personality. You Thank attract you. attention, but you got Thank a lot you. of people on there. If you weren't on there, they wouldn't be interested. So you and I, because I'm your dad and you're my son, 
we attract a lot of attention. You do, obviously, don't misquote me. I'm not saying I'm on any kind of a level with you or power with you or anything like that. But it's certainly- Are you sure? I might be if I had a better opportunity. Two other things. You never once came on our show. Never. And you didn't even listen to it. That's number one. All right. That's number Did one. Did I ever say no to coming on your show? Absolutely. You were never available. You know, we had a social media guy. I don't know who he was. I think he's still there. He did nothing. Zero. We all know who he is. I, maybe you don't know who he is. I know who he is, and he's still there. I, but, you, I never said no to coming on your show. That's a flat lie. You never said no. You never even knew you had been asked. And I, I know no. that. Eddie, that was... <laughs> I can confirm that 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 was brilliant. I I never <laughs> I said I've never said no. You said Can you do me a favor? I never knew that I was asked. You're very you're very typical to the Barcelona. You blame everything on everybody else. Here we go. That's just what I was going to talk you about. You do. That's just what I was going to talk about. When I told you, you know, I don't know about about the the uh, technical side of getting this all up and running and whatnot. And you basically said to me, that irritates me when everybody says that. You yeah, sink a swim in Boston. Everybody of the people that are successful went and did it on their own. Those are the kind of people I want. You blamed and it all on Glenny Balls. <laughs> it was all his fault, really. That's, <laughs> he, that's the fact of the matter. He did you brought his name up. I'm not gonna I'm not You gonna blame present. your entire show's failure on Glenny Balls. Can I tell you something? I That's crazy. He, I, look, he what do you nice... mean? You literally just five seconds ago said, I had a social guy who didn't do anything. Everyone but knows who I'm talking him. about. You said everybody knows who you're talking about. You named him. I didn't. I liked you said him. everybody knows who you're talking about. Look, I like Lenny. He's a good kid. He did zero for us. Do you not realize how lucky you were for that? Like, that's the delusion that I'm talking about. And you'll shake your head. But my dad and my cousin were given a show where they just bicker back and forth for an hour. You had Riggs, you had Smitty, you had Za, you had Balls, and you blame it all on Glenny Balls. You know why? Because the other people made an honest effort to help. So how much resources when you're sitting here saying, I got nothing, I just reeled off four people that you right, just said, man, on a separate, I'm this. asking you how much resources from Barstool did you want for two 70-year-olds to bicker for an hour on Sirius Radio? You tell well, me. Well, except a lot of people apparently liked it. According to who? I see the response. It's relative. It's all relative. Dad. Uh, and this is where we go. But did any when, when our show went off the air, did anybody else knock on your door and say, hey, we need this show? If you saw the, saw the number of responses I got on Twitter about we want you back, where is the cousin? You think I'm making this up? No, but you're, you, a couple of responses on Twitter don't mean anything. I'm saying it's, it's not, serious it or other. It wasn't a couple of responses. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You didn't pay attention to it all at all, and I didn't expect you to. Dad, I didn't, we get, Dad, we get the numbers and downloads and information from Sirius. Your show was, in the scheme of the desert, a speck of sand. Well, you got, you've hired a lot of specks of sand. What does that have to do with anything? Well, all right, Mr. Porter, we'll talk. We'll, we'll, it was we'll, a uh... pleasure. Thanks, Eddie, for <laughs> doing this today to get my blood pressure up. It's all right. We got the car fixed, right? The car's okay? I think so, yeah. Okay, good, good. All right. Uh, Mr. Portnoy, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining I love on. you, Dave. I love you, too. Your thoughts? I try to keep, because I know he's, I don't want to say it. He, he thinks Glenny Balls is the reason he's not uh, Joe Rogan. It's, and I've had this conversation. It, it, everything always bodes well for our social guy, meaning Glenny, like did stuff. The facts. Anytime he asked me to come to the show, I would come on the show. His thing, like, I don't, he, he can't ask me. I don't know. The whole thing, he's just delusional. He's delusional with that, but that's fine. He's my dad. Whatever. It, it, he wears me down with it because it is. And at times, in my mind, he does revert to a Barcelona mentality that's not, 
unique to him, but it's everybody's fault but his own on why things haven't worked exactly how he expected. And by the way, he didn't get his show canceled. We lost the station. I think he just misses his show. That's all it comes down to. But there's an anger that he's been wrong. There's an underlying, like... Maybe he thinks that you should just do more to, like, get him back going again. Uh, that may be it, but, like, why? Because my dad? So just, like, I mean, that show was tough to listen to by the end of it. It's just too... It's that. It's what we just did, but every single day. Yeah. No, oh, he's good at content, though. He's funny. Yeah, he's good in doses. Like so. that, that went on way too long. Yeah, like I, I do like... And cut it. I do like Monday Night Mike, though. Yeah, but I mean... Listen. He's delusional. He's... He thinks that show, The Cousins, was cutting edge, brilliant, early Letterman, early Curb. Like, he thinks that's how good that show was. Well, maybe he just needed more time and it would have got there. Who knows? He needed, he, he, and why didn't it become a monster show? Why was it the next PMT? Glenny Balls. That's literally how he looks at the world. It's like, I don't even know what you mean by that. I feel like we need Glenny on at some point to tell, tell his side of, the, he his really, side of the tale. I'm not joking. He blames it all on him. And then he's like, I didn't bring him up. It's like, you brought him up. You're like, everyone knows what I'm talking about. My <laughs> social guy. What's he do? It's crazy. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, I had no resources. You had Riggs. You had Smitty. You had Za. You wear everybody out. <laughs> Like, what do you, like, did you want our entire company to be the cousins featuring Barcelona Sport? Like, I don't, whatever. Yeah. We'll get them back on. We'll get them back. Let's, um, let's do a couple more topics and then let's do the ad and let's put the ad in the middle of his to see went long, right? Yeah, and we should edit his down. I mean, that was tough to take. Yeah, just like the last 15 or so was probably, you know, yeah. whatever, last 10 or we could, we could fix. Um. All right, inside Barstool here, Dave. Um, Jersey Jerry versus Justin Fields. Yeah, I've Big Cat's trying to fix it. But I guess Justin Fields big timed him at some photography event, uh, and it sounds like a very serious situation. That if Big Cat doesn't fix it, then uh, Jer Jersey Jerry may retire. Oh, really? He might. I, he might give I up. I thought Barstool. he was. I thought he, or maybe I misquoted that. Um, I don't know what it was, but it, it sounded like it was an us or them thing with him. Oh, wow. He's your guy. Yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't there, so I can't speak on it. But um, you, you obviously never want to be disrespected by anyone from, you know, the guy who works at the TSA or, you know, a quarterback. So uh, that's tough. But I don't know. Maybe maybe Justin. I think Big Cat is working on rectifying the situation. Is he? Well, that's good. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I Justin feels my guy. Of course, I'm, uh, I'll always have his back, you know. So. Well, no, sounds like you got everybody's back then. Well, I, I don't. I mean, it's it's it just. If there's two people in a in a sword fight, you can't have both their backs, can you? Yeah, but I don't. I don't agree with that. I don't think conflict needs to be um, one where you go on one or the other side. I think you'd be like, all right, this is unfortunate. Let's figure it out, and that's how I am. Okay, that's how I feel about it. Um, yeah, he was reached out. I did reach out I to him to come Jerry's on. I have Jerry's back. Clearly, I'm hundred percent on his side. I reached out to him to come on the show, and he declined. Hmm. So, I'm 100% on Jersey Jerry's side here. He didn't want to um, talk about it, so he must be really upset about it. Uh, next thing here, uh, Loud Sean is leaving Barstool Sports. Sad. What The end of an era. Yeah. I was very what, sad when I found out Loud Sean, well, he's just a guy. If Barstool's around for another day, another 100 days, another 100 years, Loud Sean's in the story. Uh, just one of the more unique characters. I still remember when I interviewed him at coffee shop in New York. What a string of interviews that was. That's where I, I interviewed Loud Sean. I interviewed Pete. Um, but Loud Sean, and people think I'm exaggerating, he cleared out the coffee shop not once, but twice. He was talking so loud. Somebody tapped him on the shoulder, asked him if he could quiet down. He's like, yeah, yeah, he couldn't do it. The entire coffee shop, dirty looks, got up and left. New round of people came in, deja vu. 
Ask him to be quiet. Dirty looks left. Uh, of course, we have Loud Sean versus Spags, that basketball game. All-time barstool moment. Uh, Loud Sean at the Super Bowl uh, where he almost drowned doing drugs in his eyeballs. Um, challenging people with $5,000 basketball games. Loud Sean who packs a stripper gun to go to Vegas. Blackout. <laughs> Nobody blacks out like Loud Sean. He will live on forever. Wow, that was, uh, that was quite the eulogy right there. I mean, he got banned from drinking at Barstool. <laughs> it's like, he, he got through it, but yeah. I mean, if we ever did a, I don't know if he's officially gone, if we ever did like a Loud Sean going away party, someone could die. I think he is. I think he is done. I think his last day was Friday, because yeah. um, I I reached out to him too to come on, and he I think he's he's ready to move on. You know, so yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I heard he's like crying, saying goodbye to everybody, which is a very loud Sean move. <laughs> Did you reach out? Did you talk to him? Yeah, I said we're gonna miss you, loud Sean. And he said thanks. Yeah, best of luck, loud Sean. Got a goodbye, like good luck. He's like I said. I would never want to spend too much time with him, but he's an all-time Barstool guy. And what, he's just moving on? He just got a different job or what? Yeah, I think he's going to some, like, MMA something. Nice. Nice. Did you, uh, you know, unfortunately, Frank, he got a little worked up about the New Jersey Devils, the way they treat their fans. Did you see that? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, well, you know, just we could show assume. some support. Yeah, I assume it's very similar. Like I probably know what it looks like without seeing it. Yeah, exactly. And then he tweeted yesterday. Uh, there was the music in the stadium was was too loud, and he just tweeted, "Why is this so loud at the Devils?" So, um, if you could do anything in the near power to make sure that the Devils are shaping up, that'd be nice. Are they any good? I don't even know. They're not in the playoffs. No, no. Yeah. Um, so credit to him for still going to games. Yeah. What did you see? Uh, did you see Feidelberg his his before and after with the beard? No, no. I'm I'm I i do not know. Do you have the picture, Kareem? Can we pull it up? Curious on what you think is the better look for him. Uh, without the beard, the yeah, a hundred percent. He looks like a fucking idiot with that beard. And he looks good without it. Yeah. So no um, no love for the beard at all. I mean, that's not a beard. That's, as KFC said, he looks homeless. Uh, did you see Will Compton? He had a, had a kid? Yeah. Congrats. Can you pull, the, can you pull the that black, picture up? The black baby picture? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that? I will say I was confused by it, and that was April Fool's. We talked about that earlier, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was an April Fool's joke. So, um, I, think, I think he's still in labor. I don't know if you had it yet, though. Oh. So, um. Shout out to Will. Uh, Hezbollah, what did you, you think of the video? Great. Went super viral. I don't know why I wasn't trending on Twitter, but uh, like million views in nine hours. I think last time I saw it, 1.5. Hilarious clips, and Caleb's on a roll. Yeah, she, it was awesome. And it, like given the situation and knowing that the translator, like Caleb said last week or two weeks ago, didn't speak the right language, like that was a tough situation, I'm yep. sure. Yeah, no. I, and I talked to him throughout it. So, But, yeah, great job. We knew it would be huge, and it was huge. And people can go get merch, right? We did a merch deal yes, with Hezbollah, too. we did a too. merch deal with Hezbollah. I talked to the people. So all the merch is on the store right now. Cool. So go check that out. And as well, um, TiVo, if you could pop up that link. The Air Force One uh, is at a little over twenty five grand right now the on NFTs, eBay. NFTs, yeah. Yeah. So if you go on there, it goes till the end of the week. So go get there. You could get it. That's going to be – I mean, that's a one of one. It's a great, it's a great thing. And then um, last thing here, Dave, Wayne Gretzky – uh, on spitting chiclets. Yeah, which, I, I mean, that's not s surprising me. Biz sits two doors down from him every day on TNT. So, I, I, it's an unbelievable get, obviously, the greatest hockey player of all time. But I, it was a come that's kind of like no shit, right? It's good for yes, everybody. For sure. And it, you're right. It is a no-brainer. He works with them. And they're so big. They're so good at what they do. But there is an element to, like, I don't know. I, I, obviously, you didn't get hit with it, but like, holy shit, Wayne Gretzky was on Barstool Sports, which is pretty fucking cool. I mean, I feel like we've had really big, big guests. I, I, it's hard for me to judge. I'm desensitized to it because I figured, of course, that's coming. Again, mm -hmm. because of the biz connection. So, um, 
it doesn't diminish the size of the guests, but that's what I thought would happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, Mount Rushmore, athlete ever. For hockey, so, sure. Yeah. Um, okay, Dave, anything else? Anything Anything you got to get out there? No, I think we're New good. Orleans, and then you're yeah, going back to, back, back, uh, back to Miami? Back to Miami tomorrow. Okay, cool. All right, then. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. That's it for this week. Uh, we'll be back next week. We will see you then.